FIFA President Gianni Infantino made his pit stop in Belize today. His visit is seen as critical to football here in the country, one that has struggled for decades, and one that has not made it past the CONCAF stage. But for Minister of Sports Rodwell Ferguson, this visit was a historic one. This is significant for the entire country of Belize because history has been made. First time a president of FIFA have ever visited a small country like Belize with only 400,000 people. So it should raise the eyebrows for our Belizeans and hope that in the very near future, Belize should excel in football in particular because they have done some significant investment in this small developing country. Infantino says that FIFA is keen on expanding its continuous partnership with Belize to encourage growth in the football field and the football field. He explains that one of his areas of focus is working with young players, especially women. Football is a, is a path for a, a, a better future for many, many boys and many, many girls. And what we have to do, our responsibility is to give them these opportunities to invest in the education. That's our main uh, um, priority, education of girls and boys, because we've, at a very young age, because when they then are older, they can have scholarships in, in different universities. When it comes to additional help uh, of, uh, for athletes, it's obviously a more complicated and difficult question because it depends very much on the revenues, we are speaking here about the professional games, on the revenues that we can generate for the game uh, around the world. We are investing the revenues that FIFA generates into these kind of projects for the use, for the grassroots, for the development. We have to see as well, and this is part of also the discussions we're having at CONCACAF level, at, at FIFA level, at UNCAF uh, level as well, how can we make our competitions better for clubs and national teams, for men and for women, so that more revenue can be generated, which again will help uh, players to, to receive something. Football Federation of Belize President Sergio Chuk highlighted that this visit also gave them the opportunities to discuss further investments in the upgrading of infrastructure. Right now, the focus is completing this one because we are all I say three quarter way complete, but you see we need a parking facility, we need a shed, we need a VIP, we still need a, another training pitch to the back. Uh, you know in, in, in Central America, all the national teams play on grass pitch. We can't have our national teams training strictly on a synthetic pitch and then go to play on, 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 a, on a grass pitch in Salvador. So we need to fix our pitches that we have here. So we have a little bit more work to complete the, the, the center com fully and then we look at other projects at other areas around the country where uh, the investment would, would go the longest way, maybe in Belize City that is the, the most populated area. Reporting for Love News, Giovanna Mogel.